And Russell, in effect, has uh, come out and uh, tantamount to saying it's me or him. You know, I'm, I'm probably not going to go back. I've no relationship with him as long as he's in charge. Now, when that's your best player saying that, and when things aren't going so well, if you're Gregor Townsend, especially today, uh, you can ill afford too many slip-ups. Yeah, it's, it's a... It's, the players have let him down in a lot of the way they've played, but this situation with Finn Russell is like throwing kerosene on the fire. It's just that they haven't been performing well. Now, this, we understand there's a whole lot of reasons we can come to, but when you have your best player... And he's a bit of a maverick player, a bit of a, you know, he's not a non-conformist player, but exciting and expressive and a match winner. When, he, when you lose him and he's outside the group, that makes the job of the coach really, really hard. Mm. Really, really tough. Uh, Matt, and you can't afford, with the resources that <clears throat> Scotland have, to go, we'll just do without him because yeah. he is a bit maverick, because he doesn't conform. You actually have to find a way. And part of his role is, yes, ensuring discipline across the team and everyone's pushing in the same direction, but also facilitating a player like um, Finn Russell. Yeah. It has to be done. It, and it, every coach does it, Matt. You've come across one, I'm sure. Well, well, you know, I, I always... The great example is David Campuzzi, mm. who was the, one of the greatest players I've ever seen. And... David was a difficult person. He, was, he, he certainly wasn't a, someone who didn't drink or anything like that, but David was a, was a perfectionist and he expected perfection from everyone else and that made him hard to deal with. Mm. But those coaches that had him when he was at his peak, like Alan Jones and Bob Dwight, they created a team around him and he performed magnificently for mm. them. I had David at the end of his career and, and you had to find a way to do it. Now, the, what's happened here with this one is both teams have sort of built up these walls. So the anti-Finn Russells and the other side and the senior players saying, well, these are our rules. And they've got to find a way to manage this to bring him back in. Now, if Gregor's going to be a statesman, which he has to do, he has to reach out and find a way to say, come on, mate, mm. look, let's start again. Let's press the reset button. I, I really, I, I apologise if I've done anything wrong. We need you back in the team. Scotland needs you. And, and I'm not sure that's going to happen. I spoke to James Downey a couple of weeks ago who would have played under Gregor for a season, yeah. and he certainly was of the opinion that his man management could be better. Yeah, and interesting. Finn Russell has said, eight years, I don't know the guy. Yeah. Yeah. So and and that's, it's, that's, it's, that, immediately, that immediately says that there's something wrong. And yeah. listen, not every coach is brilliant at every element of coaching as well. Yeah. But man management it, it, at international level is crucial because you only get so much time with the yeah. players. Yeah. And you can, so you can't work on their skills day to day. That has to be left to the regions in mm. Scotland's case. So you have to have players happy, and contented and aware of the system and bought into the system and all pulling together. And the best coaches, and I'm talking in the most successful coaches like Gatlin, nobody has done that better than Gatlin. Yeah. No matter what you say yeah. about how technically um, gifted he is, he knew how to pull a team together. Joe Smith knew how to pull a team yeah. together as well and had the technical side and of things. It, Andy Farrell is attempting to do that yeah, at the moment. Right. But if Gregor Townsend was here, he would say, well, I've got 23 guys today who are happy enough with me. You know, Finn Russell is, is losing. part of this story as well. They are losing. You know, and, that's grand. Yeah. You can have everyone, yeah, everyone like you and you can be, you know, everyone is saying that, you know, he's the right man, but if you're losing, this, you're doing something wrong. And, and there's a, there's another aspect of this because it's the senior player group within the Scottish camp, within the Scottish team, mm. that said, here are the rules. And they're saying, you're, to, to Finn Russell, you've broken the rules. So, you know, so Mick Ellen played for Australia. Was a very funny guy. He said, I don't have rules with my team. He said, why? Then no one can break them. Yeah. You know, now they've put these rules together and this guy's done something different. And, and not, I'm not saying, the other thing is you have to be clear on this, like the, the team discipline is required as yes, well. Yes, Like there's no doubt about that, but I think there's a breakdown if you to even get into the situation that they are now, you know, the, to allow that yes. to happen. Yeah. Exactly. That's the, that's the issue. Not to the fact that everyone wasn't following rules. You know, people need to follow rules and you have to have that. You can't have one guy doing exactly what he wants. But in this case, with this individual, with your 10, who's your biggest lieutenant, mm. he has to be in the circle. And he, he should, there's a failure if, if he hadn't got to that point um, by, by, the, by the start of this Six Nations, at least.